So we're going to start by priming the skin with Benefits Professional. It's supposed to fill in your pores, which is great because I have large pores. Katy Perry. Juicy J. Then we're going to skip foundation for now, go straight into the eyes because using dark colors you can have fallout and you don't want that on your foundation. I'm going to take a medium warm brown color. I'm using Buck from Urban Decay and a Sigma E35 brush and I'm going to buff that right into the crease. And this is going to help blend out our darker colors later. Then I'm going to take a small shader brush from Sigma and I'm going to take the color Gunmetal and I'm going to put that on the inner two thirds of my eye. Taking that same E35, I'm going to buff out the edges of those two colors and diffuse any harsh lines. Now we're going in with uh, the color Creep from Urban Decay Naked Palette and we're using the Sigma Pencil E30 brush and we're going to put that on the outer um, third, so just on the outer V there. Then taking a Sigma E40 brush, oh boy I can't talk right now, we're going to uh, buff all those colors together just to create a seamless look. Then we're going back in with that pencil brush and we're just deepening up the color. So a smoky eye is all about layering and blending, layering and blending, go bit by bit. That's how you build up a good intense eye without it getting too messy. Now taking that same uh, E25 er, e brush and that Buck Warm Brown color, we're going to put that along the top and we're just going to buff that back and forth. The lid colors are both cool tones so the Warm Brown kind of ties it all in together and just blends it nicely. Darn it. 
Now we're taking our highlight shade. I'm using the Mary Luminizer by the Balm and I'm placing that on my brow bone. Um, that's just to catch the light and kind of lift your eye a bit. Now on to eyeliner. I'm just taking the uh, Rimmel Black Eyeliner and um, just like a thin eyeliner brush. And I'm going to create a small flick on the outer corner. And I'm just going to take a straight line down and then just fill it in. And do this slowly and then gradually build up the thickness and the wing. Because if you mess up the eyeliner, you mess up the entire eye. We're not doing a dramatic wing or anything, just a little bit, just to define along the lash line there. Now I'm taking Urban Decay's D Slick Makeup Setting Spray and I'm placing it on before my foundation. That's just going to lock my oils in place. I'm using uh, NARS Sheer Glow Foundation in the color Punjab and I'm going to apply that with my Sigma Angled Kabuki F84 brush. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. I'm using um, Anastasia Brow Wiz and mine's in the color Burnett. It's amazing what filling in your eyebrows will do for a smoky eye because uh, your eyebrows can kind of get lost if you have my type of eyebrow. I was in place, I'm just going to use a clear brow gel. This kind of works almost like a, a hair gel for your eyebrow. It'll keep them from flapping in the wind. Now I'm basically going to use my concealer as a highlighter. Um, when you're doing a smoky eye like this, you want to bring as much light to the face as possible to prevent um, from looking like washed out and tired. So I'm placing this lighter shade all in the um, places in my face where I want to draw light to. And it looks like I'm using a lot, but it's really not. Once I blend it in, you'll see. There, so that's all on and blended out. Now I'm going to set my makeup. I'm going to powder my skin with the Sigma Large Powder F30 brush and the Maybelline Dream Matte Press Powder.
I'm going to take that same um, highlighter, I'm going to place it on the inner corners of my eye. That's just going to bring some light back into my eye area and really make them pop. And now I'm just putting a little bit of mascara on my upper lashes because I'm going to put on false lashes and this will just kind of blend them together. You don't have to put too much on. So for the lashes, I'm using the Ardell Demis. I'm going to place some duo lash glue on the lash band and then wait about 30 seconds for it to become tacky. Then you can apply it as close to the lash line as possible. that same E35 that had the medium brown on it, I'm going to smudge this along the lower lash line just at the bottom of where we placed that color to diffuse any harsh lines there as well. Apply some lower lash mascara and then we're going to put some bronzer on. I'm just using this e.l.f. Uh, blush bronzer duo. I'm going to place it um, in the hollows of my cheeks, sides of my forehead and just really blend it down 